Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about branding of Cisco video endpoints. I know there's probably some other videos out there on this already. I'm going to go through very quickly how to do the, uh, the easy way, uh, right through the graphic user interface on the endpoint itself, through the control hub, uh, how you can push out branding in bulk. I'm also going to show you how you can configure branding, more specifically from the CLI and from the API of the video endpoints. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Otherwise, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. The first branding option to review is through the Control Hub. To, to get to these branding options, go to the Devices tab on the left-hand side. At the top, choose the Settings tab and scroll down until you see Branding. Now, it's important to know there's a couple options here. You can allow all devices to be edited individually from advanced settings. This essentially cross-launches from Control Hub from that individual device over to the web UI of the video endpoint itself. You then make the changes, and I'll show you how to do this in just a moment. The next option is to use Cisco default visuals on all devices, so essentially no branding. The third is to upload your company's brand visuals on all devices. Here you can upload the wake up background, the full, uh, the full background image, the wake up brand logo. This is typically going to be the logo that's on the black wake up background. And then the awake brand logo, uh, and this is on the white background of the, uh, the user interface. To customize branding from a endpoint specifically, whether you cross launch from the control hub or if you navigate to the endpoint directly, uh, as in the case of an on-prem registration, you simply come into the, uh, the web UI, go to Setup, Personalization. You'll land on a page that looks like this. And from here, it's very straightforward. Uh, you have sample UIs uh, that you can see. If you upload a branding background or logo, you can actually see these reflected in real time on the Touch 10 or the uh, looks like an MX300 screen there. Uh, you can actually then also put the endpoint in the wake state or the half wake state to actually see these on the endpoint itself if you're physically in front of it. I won't necessarily show you how to do that. I think this is very straightforward. From here though, let's jump over to the CLI and the API, which is really the meat of what this video is about. Before we can upload branding images via the API, we actually have to take a look at the file formatting of those images. Here you can see the image I'm going to work with. This is going to be the, uh, the, the light icon or the light branding logo. This will be shown when the system is in the half-wake state, so it's a more of a lighter image on a dark canvas. You'll notice that this file is a PNG. It has a transparent background and uh, it's not necessarily the exact size that, it's, that it should be, but I've tested it, it works fine, and uh, we're gonna go with it. If I close this and I come into the folder here, uh, what I'm gonna have to do is actually be able to upload this uh, as text. The API calls for this to be uploaded as a base64 uh, you know, encoded file in text format. Now, if we look at this file, uh, the PNG, file, the image file, uh, and we cat that file, we notice that it is certainly not in base64 format. There's a lot of characters in there that can't be represented by our uh, system. So what we'll do is we actually will have to base64 uh, or get a base64 encoded version of that file. Now I'm using a Mac. Linux would be pretty much the same thing. Just use the base64 command and pass the file as an argument. Here you can see that file encoded in base64. It's quite a bit of text, uh, but uh, either way, that's what you will need to paste into the, uh, the API. Now I'm actually going to go a step further and I'm going to generate a file that has that text in it. That way I can easily refer to it and I don't have to do something like, like this each time. Programmatically, however, you would simply build this into your script or your uh, program. We'll just call it uh, Cisco Light Transparent and then we'll just call it text. And that's it. You'll see that the text file is now available in this directory as well. With that being said, let's jump over to uh, a CLI or SSH session to the endpoint and we'll see if we can get this uploaded. To push branding from the CLI, you're going to want to SSH into the video endpoint. We're going to use the X uh, command option, user 
interface, branding. If you actually hit the question mark, you can see some of the other options here. With the option to clear branding altogether, we can delete, we can uh, do a branding fetch, and we can do some other functions here. I'm actually going to target the upload function because I'm uploading this content and uh, we want to get it added to the system. So let's go ahead and use that option. Now we do need to choose the type or the specific um, you know, piece of branding material that we want to upload. I'm actually going to upload a uh, half wake branding. So half wake branding. When you hit enter, you'll notice that the command is uh, not accepted and committed. You actually now have the option to paste in that base64 encoded file. So I'm going to do that with a control V. Takes a moment to, uh, to dump the whole thing in there. You want to then hit a carriage return and use a, uh, I use a decimal or a dot to terminate that. Uh, assuming everything has gone correctly, you'll get an OK. And, uh, and that's it. Now you are out and you can issue additional commands. That is how you do it from the CLI. Now obviously that was one piece of it. You can do this for each piece individually. You might be able to script this or better yet, you can do this from the API, which I'm going to show you right now. For the API example, I want to point out a few things. First of all, I am using Postman and I have the uh, command or the body of the request already built out. You're going to notice it's very similar to what we issued from the CLI. Uh, command instead of X command. User interface, branding, upload, type. Uh, here is the type. And then here is the file data in base64 encoded format. You will notice because it's a multiple line command uh, that I am wrapping it in a body tag. Uh, so this is important. You're going to want to do that, and then you want to close it with another body tag immediately after, leaving no white space uh, to prevent any type of error state from occurring. I'm going to assume that you have viewed the documentation for the X API and understand how to authorize and authenticate correctly, uh, and what headers you need to send along for this to be a valid request. Likewise, HTTPS, uh, if you're validating certificates or not, those types of things are important to consider. Last but not least, as of this recording, multiple line commands, such as uh, uploading a file in Base64 uh, encoded format, is not yet supported by the X API online uh, through the Control Hub or through the WebEx Cloud. You have to post this information directly to the video endpoint. This is somewhat of an inconvenience, but I suspect this will be fixed in future releases of the software. So by the time you're watching this, it may already be uh, have been addressed and this is fully supported through the uh, the cloud version of the API. When you have your request made, uh, simply hit send and you will see a uh, confirmation message sent back with a status OK. If for some reason the request is not successful, you'll get an error message that helps troubleshoot what that actual problem is. Hopefully that's been a helpful branding tutorial. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments section below. I have some documents in the video description as well. Uh, as always, I want to thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.